I'm doing the best I can. If you just grab this branch, I can pull you out. And let go of the water! That's a death sentence! What's going on? What isn't? We've got locusts eating our crops. Our grave digger died, so it's just sitting there. There's a bat infestation in the cheese cave. The fire-breathing orcs are back, and now the bridge has collapsed. I was so preoccupied with whether I could build a bridge out of mud, I didn't stop to think if I should. Stop wallowing, Simon. We can do the post-mortem later. Sounds like you're ready to condemn the guy. Ultimately, isn't this your responsibility? I'm just trying to save you. Save me? Or save your precious reputation? All right, what do we got? Bridge collapse? I need rope, rescue dogs, swimmers, and anything that floats. And Hippo, I'll take some of that tea you make out of coffee beans. On it. Stoop, whatever you're doing, drop it. No, Mother, do not take Stupendous away right now. She is saving people's lives. Wrong. She's just changing their death dates. I need her for something far more important. Mom, no! I told you I don't like being turned into a glass! What could be more important that also requires my sister to be a goose? Well, whenever Athena gets a new temple, Stupendous and I become geese so we can go and defecate on it. It's a fun way for me to bond with my favourite child. Great unnecessary burn, Mother. <laughs> can anyone help me? Anyone at all? Dad, good you're here. Do you see this? See what's happening here? There's no olive oil. What am I supposed to dip my bread in? Oh, my God! Help! Thank you. I do need help. Dad, rope, rope! <laughs> Are you happy? We could have saved her. Well, as far as we know, she's living happily downstream now. If you need me, I'll be at the bar. I need you. And I'll be at the bar. chicken for you. That's the standard payment for the loss of a loved one. Wait a minute. You didn't lose a loved one. So I don't deserve a chicken? Son, a word. What is it? Just circling back on the olive oil. Dad, I'm incredibly busy. I know that's an alien concept for you, but I'm dealing with a million crises at the moment and olive oil is not at the top of the list. Yeah, but people love olive oil. I have to warn you, son. The folks down at the bar are not exactly writing you love songs as it is. Ah, oh, the bar, yes. Well, I suppose you'd be the expert on that. Well, I'm not sure about expert. More of an amateur. But... Why not throw them a bone, Sam? It's just olive oil. It's work to get olive oil, Dad. It's work to get anything. Well, that has not been my experience. Of course it hasn't, because I do all the work. You see, that attitude may play a part in your unpopularity. In my unpop... All right, you know what, Dad? You want olive oil? You're in charge of olive oil. There's a trade meeting tomorrow. Why don't you handle it? I like to try new things now and again. Happy to give it a go. That was a weird move, putting Dad in charge of olive oil. I mean, I get it's not a huge priority, but I do want olive oil. Of course you do. Everyone does. I want olive oil. But either Dad pulls it off, in which case, great, olive oil, or... And let's be honest, this is what's going to happen. We're no worse off than we started. And he's actually had to face a reality that things take work. Huh. Wow. I gotta hand it to you, brother. That was well played. Why, thank you. You know what you got there? Is a win-win. Win-win. Huh. I like that. Did you just make it up? Yeah. I mean, not just. I've been workshopping it. It's like a win on the one side and a win on the other. Or almost like an object, like a perfectly balanced object. Whoever wins, we win. Win or also win. I said I workshopped it already. Did you eat enough berries? Athena has quite a few temples to poop on and you wouldn't want to run out. Yes, Mom, I got enough berries. Could you stop running my entire life down to the food in my belly? Oh, come on, you love this. No, I don't. I had stuff I wanted to do. Well, you're my daughter, which means you work for me. Rock, 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 rock. rock, rock. What are they saying? Are you okay? Why didn't you zap him? Was this some kind of game for you? Zap him? Yeah. Why didn't you zap him and turn back into yourself? Myself? I am myself. Stop playing, Mom. I don't understand what you are saying right now. Oh, wow. So, you really think you're a goose? What else would I be? Okay, just gonna check. If I say Deliria is a weak little stinky bud who bosses people around because she's insecure, your response is what? What is Deliria? Oh, man. There they are! Good boy! Go, 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 go! <laughs> uh, uh, 
Oh, good. Uh, uh, good morning, Colas. Have you been standing there long, or...? I have the daily disasters, Your Highness. You wish to be briefed? Oh, yes. Good, good. The sinkhole now has birthed a second sinkhole, and the grain storage is now the rotten grain storage. Yeah, 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 yeah. but let, let's start with olive oil. Give me dessert first. Olive oil is actually the one thing that's gone right. I'm sorry? Gone right, as in... It's been running very smoothly since you put your father in charge, Your Highness. <sighs> and it makes me so mad. And that, my good friend, is how you get kicked out of Gomorrah. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What's happened? Ah, son. Want some olive oil? We've got plenty. How? Uh, how did you manage to get olive oil? It's really hard to get. Uh, I mean, not always that hard. It's often very easy. But how did you do it? Well, I missed that trade meeting you wanted me to go to, so I came here for a drink and ran into this ugly son of a bitch who had a ton of the stuff. This guy! <laughs> the cannibal chief who wants to eat us. If you could look past the cannibal part, you'd see a human being who eats human beings with olive oil that I share. Well, it's all making sense now. That's the schlub way. Blunder into a situation which someone just gives you what you need. If by blunder, you mean get along with people well enough that they like you and want to help. Yeah, why are you picking on schlub? If I may, it's this insistence on telling people what to do that makes them not like you. They do like me. Uh... Shut up, Miriam. You've got an agenda. And did you put the chicken in a baby carriage? What of it? You know what? Who cares what the citizens like? Oh. 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 Uh, you just like lounging about in bars doing nothing. But to do that, somebody needs to be doing work. And until you all start doing it voluntarily, you're going to need to be told to. And if that's unpopular, then perhaps popularity itself is a problem. What's the word I'm looking for? It's right on the tip of my... Oh, right. Boom! Why don't you get out of here, you big weenie? Yeah. Yeah. Great job on the olive oil, Schlub. Yeah! <laughs> Guess it wasn't a win-win after all. Yes, it was. It was. It's just one of the wins didn't wind up feeling quite as winny as the other one. Still smarting from getting thrown out of the tavern? I wasn't thrown out. Not bodily. It's not like I was picked up and thrown. I was pushed. My feet never left the ground. Or, yes, they did, but only for a moment. If I'm being honest, I... I really wanted to see Dan fail. I know! That would have been awesome! The guy waltzes through life, drinking and telling his dumb stories, just getting everything handed to him. Meanwhile, guys like us, who do all the work, get treated like crap. Thank you. I guess that's just the way it is. Not necessarily. What if letting other people do the work is the power move? Look at Mom. She has all the power in the relationship, and she does nothing. What if that's the secret? Dad, once again, great work on the olive oil. Well, I had fun doing it, so I'm not sure I'd call it work. Yes. So, we were thinking, what if you took on more responsibilities? Well, as long as responsibilities continue to be no more demanding than no responsibilities, I'd be happy to. What did you have in mind? Well, yeah, sinkhole for starters. <laughs> and produce. As you can see, the figs are a bit recycled. There's still the bat infestation and the fire-breathing orcs to deal with. Oh, my sheep! And any other dispute, shortages or avoidable deaths that happen today, everyone from now on, the sinkhole, produce, bat infestation and orcs will be handled by the eminently competent and capable Schlub. Yes! <laughs> Give me your full name so it's official. Schlubrick Michael... That's a joke, right? Swear to God. Schlubrick Michael... Our new sinkhole, produce, bat, and orc czar. Yeah! Hey, you know they're setting you up for failure, right? Tyrannus, he wouldn't do that. Uh, they're not exactly being candid about it. Ty wants you to eat crap, which is not a great look for a king. Huh. Well, maybe he'll get what he wants. I'm certainly not gonna fill in a sinkhole. Who wants a drink? To failure! To failure! Yeah! Now, you know what? If your failing means he wins, I'm not gonna let it happen. Plus, you're such a chill guy, I don't mind lifting a shovel for you. I'll fill that sinkhole. Uh, I'll help, too. Yeah, me, too. For sure. For sure. So you don't remember when I was three and you got sick of waiting for me to be grown up so you left me to be raised by fire ants? No! You don't remember when you offered to trade me to Hestia for a necklace? That doesn't sound very nice. You don't remember throwing me at a bear? 
Oh, now you're making this up. Mom, I'm gonna try something to jog your memory. Don't be mad. Ow! Now why would you do that? It had a 50-50 chance. Oh, wait, maybe you can just zap without remembering. Try this. And zap! Or zap! Come on, concentrate. Think of whatever you usually think of when you know you're a goddess. Zap! You keep saying that word, goddess. Yeah, because you are one. I don't know what that is, but I know what a mother is. A mother is loving and kind and takes care of her children. In what world is that true? Well, I'm sure if I remembered your childhood, I would remember warming you up at night and feeding you and teaching you to fly and protecting you from danger, because that is what a mother does. Yeah, a mother goose. Huh, maybe this is it. Maybe I just take the win right here. Get myself four or five years living with the good mom, and then we both get killed or eaten. I don't hate it. Go oh, sit and let me make you a nest. You know what? I'm not going to feel the slightest bit guilty that we made Dad fail. It was a lesson he needed to learn. Absolutely. This is the kind of win-win situation I was talking about. One where there's only one win. Wait a minute. The sinkhole is filled in. The bats and orcs are gone. Figs. <laughs> when I was so drunk, I crashed right into this huge statue of a sphinx. Broke her face penis clean off. <laughs> Uh-oh, boss man's here. Everybody look busy. Oh. There you are, son. Good news. Somehow it all got done. Cinco, orcs, bats. I didn't even ask. He didn't have to. We like him. Oh, and this old goat lover has granted us a hundred years peace. You're the goat lover. It's never for love. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so everyone here just busted their asses for my dad. But when I ask you to do something, I'm the bad guy? We don't like you. Anyone can do what he does. He drinks and insults people. Hey, Big Nose, how's it hanging? Oh, there goes Dog Breath. Crazy chicken mum over there with her chicken baby. Over the line. I'm just doing what he does, just goofing around. It sure as hell didn't feel like goofing around. I did what my dumb father always does. Now you're insulting my friend? Oh, come on, you're not even friends. You only like him when you're drunk. Now our drinking is up for discussion? You are absolutely the worst. <laughs> I'll tell you what I see. I'm looking around and I see a city that works a whole lot better when Schlub's in charge. I'm failing upward. Well, I'm looking at a bunch of people who got suckered into doing a lot of work for a drunk guy. <laughs> you don't have to throw me out. I I'll just go. I'm going, I said. <laughs> 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 Hey, Mom, for old time's sake. Huh, Athena's temple. Athena? Oh, that sounds familiar. Oh, no, it's nothing. Forget I said it. Athena's just the dumb word. Yes, we were flying there, but why? No reason. We gotta relocate. There's a better lake over there. Let's go. Oh, wait. I remember. No. Don't remember now. Remember later. Just stay dumb a little longer. I am Deliria, the goddess. Damn it. And you didn't want me to remember that. You were going to keep that from me. Just for a couple of days or years. I'm going through hell as a goose. I worried about you. I doted on you. I built you a nest. It's called parenting. It's called torture. The unconditional love. The feeling that I would rather die than see you harmed. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. You're being dramatic. I'm allowed to be dramatic. True form. True form. True form. Ow! If you show me a woman, a man, or a beast, I'll show you a delectable Sexual feast! Ah, I was just wondering whether I might pull off a fifth wind. Yeah, we've been talking. You're the hottest thing in Crapopolis since, well, olive oil. It is delicious. Hot and cold. I'll cut to the chase. We're gonna storm the castle. We're going to do what? Tyrannus had his chance. The people want new management. My army is at your disposal, King Schlub. If you want it, that is. What do you say? What do I say? I say you're all nuts. That's my son you're talking about. Come on, your son wanted you to fail. And I had a blast doing it. All good in the hood. Wait, hold on. It's beginning to seem like you actually want me to be in charge. We do! Yeah. Yeah. There's been a misunderstanding. I don't want to be king. 
And you don't want that either. You telling me what I want? Uh, I don't know. Mm. I see what's happening here. I believe your recent infatuation with me had less to do with what I represent and more to do with your own empowerment, specifically in opposition to a man who wants to tell you what to do. But all I represent is nothing, doing nothing, standing for nothing, which means I'd rather let Tyrannus do his own thing, as much as I'd rather you do yours. I can understand wanting to see a king fall, but we all have a choice. Do you oppose control? In which case, you should forget this nonsense and go back to drinking. Or do you in the end choose conflict, the thrill of retribution and constant crisis? Constant crisis! Let's storm the castle! Storming the palace. They're storming the palace. Yes, thank you, Colax. You should be on the front line protecting me right now instead of telling me what I already know. Uh, I, I think I serve a vital purpose right here as your trusted news guy. <laughs> oh, did you see this? They're calling for your head. Go! No. Great job, Dad. I can tell from your tone you think it's my fault. It is your fault. You encourage them. By doing nothing? Yes. Well, look, in a few minutes, they'll come in here, remove your head, and make me king which will be pretty bad for both of us. So, we're kind of in this together. You were supposed to fail. Well, I'm sorry I failed you. I wish I could get away with doing less like you, but I can't, and I guess I'm jealous. I don't have what you have, Dad. Well, you have something I don't. You were right. I only get away with doing less because people like you pick up the slack. Well, someone has to pick up the slack. Someone has to be in charge. I agree. Someone has to be the one they yell at, the one they complain about, the one whose flat ass they make fun of. They do what? We can't talk about your ass right now. They're storming the castle. My point is, they always have to dislike someone. It's sport for them. That's it. Dad, I want to make an announcement. Do you think you could get them to listen to me for just a little bit without killing me? I think I'm likable enough to pull that off. Well, this is fun. Never been in one of these before. Always flew over them, but never had occasion to see the inside. Come on, Mom. Change is back. I will if you admit that parenting is a form of torture. Are you guys from around here? I don't recognize you from my flock echelon. No, oh, I'm sorry you felt motherly love for half a day. Against my will. Welcome to the club. Hey, what do you guys think happens in here? You die. What? No, 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 no. Get off me. Ah. You're going to die rather than get us out of this? Oh, I won't die. Oh, my God. What is happening? I'm the goddess Deliria. That's what's happening. True form. Give me a moment. True form! Oh, Goddess Deliria, please forgive me. I'll take whatever punishment you demand. How about a sacrifice? Seriously. Well, if it's such a joy to give your life for someone else, you should love this. Okay, Mom, I agree. Unconditional love is torture. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this really is torture. I don't know how you mortals do it. Oh, yes. And since you almost killed me, let's do this. Hey! 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 Get him! Hang on, hang on. I'm king now. If only for a moment. Not how that works for the record, but go on. And though it pains me to order anyone to do anything, I order you to listen to Tyrannis. Thank you, Father. Colax, you joined them? I knew which way the wind was blowing. Hippo? I didn't get this far by not joining any mobs. I do what I have to do. OK, listen, I tell people what to do because I want society to make everyone's lives better. And you all hate me for doing that. And of course, I know it's not me you actually hate. It would be anyone in my position. We wouldn't hate slob. But you'd hate someone. Yeah, you! Once again, I take that to mean whoever is giving you orders. So, for those who want to see things get done, those who want to stop people from bothering everyone, and those who want to watch those two groups fight, I give you... Local government. From now on, the city will be divided into tiny little neighborhood kingdoms where representatives of the people can argue and argue about anything they like while the actual people watch and judge and enjoy. So how are the representatives chosen? 
exactly the kind of thing you can argue about. Well, I don't want a little neighborhood kingdom. Take it up with your local councilman. Who's that? You get to decide. Well, it's not me. It's not me either. Well, someone's got to do it. Uh, have we voted on that? Did anyone make a resolution? I didn't hear one. Uh, no, no, we didn't. Well, look at that. You did it. They liked me? No, they're just too distracted to hate you. Just as good. Come on, don't be shy. The new bridge is completely safe. You're absolutely certain that this one won't collapse. Couldn't be more sure. Because you've said that before. Look, if this is going to be some relitigation of the past, I mean, what do you want me to say? OK, all right. You want me to say that I was stupid, that I was dumb to build a bridge out of mud? I'm not saying that. I used the best information that was available to me at the time. I looked at mud, and I was like, well, that stuff works for huts, it works for covering walls, it works for roofs, it even works for ovens. I made ovens out of mud. No one could have known. You plop it down, you let it dry, it's as hard as a rock. And I was like, well, this stuff even comes from the river. The logic is sound. It made perfect sense. My mistake was I didn't account for wetness. That's key, isn't it? So I asked myself, what can get wet and then dry super fast? And it hit me. Oh, no. Sand! <laughs> you suck, Ty! <laughs> we don't need a bridge. Did you get any of that? Bento.